Hey everyone, welcome back to another informative video. Today we're diving into a topic that many of you might find useful. It is how to cancel a subscription on your iPhone and how you can manage active subscriptions on your iPhone as well. So this is where everything comes together. So I've got a step-by-step -step guide based on your um, based on the stuff that you should know about. So let's just get right into it. The first step in managing your active subscriptions is accessing your iPhone's settings. So you need to tap on the settings like this and just make sure to come back to the main section in case you have been somewhere else before. Now, at the top, simply tap on your name as, as you can see at the top of the screen like this. So go ahead and click on that and you can see the subscriptions are right there. So this is the gateway to managing your active subscriptions. So once you're in there, make sure to navigate to the section right here and QuickTap will give you the option to set up and view the world of all of the stuff on all of the active as well as inactive subscriptions. It is a central hub where you have control over what services you are currently subscribed to. So as you enter the subscription menu, you'll be greeted with the comprehensive list. This list neatly categorizes your subscriptions into active and inactive ones, providing a clear overview of your current commitments. Understanding that uh, that you're subscribed to is crucial step to canceling process or managing it. So as you can see, I have only one thing, which is the inactive. If I had something else, it would be part of the active folder. But for me, it is only Snapchat plus monthly plan, which has already expired. So you can manage all of the active right here. For me, it's inactive, so the only option is to renew it for 50 cents a month again. So this is the possibility as well, but you can also see other plans right here. So you can choose a different one based on the app, of course, and then the developers and everything. But you can also find, in case you have any active subscriptions, you will be also be able to find them in the list. So you can tap on them and cancel it with the cancel button. So it is very easy. It's just basically the, the same stuff, but in reverse. So this is all the stuff that you need to know. So after you decided to cancel, you're going to be able to like confirm it. The notification will appear the t detailing the expiration date of the subscription. The expiration of canceled subscriptions can be immediate or set for a later date, depending on the specific terms of the subscription. It is crucial to pay attention to this, this detail to avoid any unexpected charges in the future. So there you have it, guys. This is how you can manage your subscriptions and how you can cancel them on your iPhone. Before we wrap up, I need to show you the Foxtech educational platform, which I've been working on recently. You can join it for free. It's going to be linked down below in the description. So go ahead and join it right now. And there you're going to be able to watch some content and courses which are premium to this platform. So for example, I have the full video editing guide for Adobe Rush. There is more stuff coming in the future. And like, for example, I have the full in-depth Dynamic Island course in case you have an iPhone with the Dynamic Island. Make sure to watch it. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Foxtech as well. See you guys later in the next one.